So on this video, we're going to show you how to set a claw trap in a shallow run there to catch a mole. What we've got here, we've got a shallow run, it's hard to see on the camera, you can just about see the mound going across. This is where the mole is, the ground is a bit more compacted along here, and the mole has come up shallow. Shallow runs aren't ideal, but sometimes that is all you've got. So this is your claw trap. It opens up like that. And when it's in the ground, it's triggered by gripping that. Put that there. Fingers and thumbs. So it's in the ground at that. But when the mole comes along, he pushes the soil out of the way, that triggers that out of the way and traps the mole. So now I can show you how to set it in the ground. You can see my run is there. So I place that there for a whip. I just put a slice there. A slice there. And that allows me to push the prongs into the ground. Open it up and push it down at the same time. You push the treadle down. So this has actually collapsed the mole run. When any other trap you'll use, you want the run clean. On this one, you want the mole run collapsed. So when he comes along pushing, the prongs just collapsed and the always clean the hole out. It's pushing against the soil pushes against that and triggers. An ideal situation to use these on are uh, if you get a lawn and you've got them running up and down just below the grass, pushing the grass up. But these can be ideal. Don't necessarily work as well in a bean crop like this, but sometimes it's worth giving it a go. So that's what I've done here today and also to show you. And as always, mark your trap. Legally, you have to do so. How you do it is up to you. But if you're doing it commercially, do not use a cane. And they're good our health and safety regulations. I'm going to show you how to fit a claw trap on a deeper run. So we've got to find a run. There it is. My trusty trowel. in there somewhere. The hole dug. 
open your trap up again. This time you want to set it first. And up. Push it in to the run. But then, unlike any other trap, you actually want to put enough soil in, trying to miss the stones, which isn't a good idea if this easy done. Just enough to block the light off. So now when the mole comes along, he'll find his tunnel is blocked, he'll trigger the trap, and fingers crossed, we've caught our mole.